Bang! What is up all National Western Shooters members and viewers? This is Scott Kiesegale, the owner, chairman, creator, body by the National Western Shooters. Today, I'm going to give you <clears throat> my recap and reveal of NWA Power Episode 4 entitled Dita Cows Again. And it was another great episode of, of old school wrestling. The I love it. I mean, thank you, Billy Corgan, YouTube, and um, Facebook for giving us a night of, of great professional old school classic wrestling. Okay, let's begin with the recap, shall we? The show kicked off with, with Joe Gardner and Jim Cornette previewing the show and was interrupted by James Storm at the desk. Storm said he doesn't have to prove himself to the NWA or anyone. When Nick Aldis is ducking him and was con is ducking him and was confronted by Colt Cabana. Cabana wants the national title. Eli Drake came out and he emphasized the national title is his ticket to get an NWA title match. Nick Aldis walked out with his title. Drake said that Storm deserves his shot at Aldis. Aldis told him to settle it in the wing and proposed a six-man tag, tag against Storm's team. If Aldis win, this team wins, Cabana gets a national title shot. And if Storm's team wins, when he gets an, the MWA title match. Aldis added that if Storm gets the, his title shot, he must vacate the national title so that he has something to lose, which Storm agreed to. I like this. I really enjoyed how the, the way they opened the show. This is how you open the show. We show, show I me mean, the first four episodes. They have just been on a roller coaster. Okay, then David Marquez interviewed Trevor Murdoch, Murdoch and explained their history together. Murdoch is here for a con contract and requested the NWA lift the 45 five day suspension to, to, jo to, to Josephus and face him. Instead, Josephus came out and called them shapeshifters. Murdoch walked to the wing and was, was was shoved into the post from behind. I like that. I, I see. See, th this is this is. I mean, I'm loving NWA. This is. I like what they're doing. I mean, and then and then it was Trevor Murdoch versus Jos Josephus. It was Josephus had powder, but it was kicked into his face and and was finished with a with a bulldog by Murdoch. Win a Trevor Murdoch in one minute and twelve seconds. It was a cool. It was a cool match. I would have preferred a, this match run a little bit longer, but it is what it is, and um, and um, this is definitely planting the seeds for for another Wesley match between those two. I think that they're, they're definitely going somewhere with this. I'm looking forward to seeing how it plays out in the next couple of episodes. And then the suspension had been announced in the previous video over Joe Steepers attack and Coco Battle last week. And then there was another promo for for Wonder for Thunder Rosa. Well, I'm 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 I have a very big, big interest in this Thunder Rosa character. What what I'm looking forward for for his debut. I'm, I'm very interested in this. And then Do Joe Gotti interviewed Aaron Stevens at the desk. Stevens was confronted by Ricky Starks, who who he joked should be his stunt double. Starks slapped him and told Stevens he talks too much. Much. I, I like this. I see anytime Aaron Stevens is on TV, I tune in. This guy knows how to cut a promo and he knows what to say and he knows how to think. He is a smart guy. I like this. This. And then Austin's Idol Spot promoted the K Fape cocktail, which an which an which an aphrodisiac just like him. Hmm. I thought that was pretty cool. I like that. I like Austin Idol. I mean, this I, another thing that has a good classic nineteen eighties tune to it. I like this Austin Idol character. And then they promoted the Rock and Roll Express is coming with footage, classic footage, as well as clips from the Crockett Cup Cup show earlier this year. I know Jim Cornette is just loving this. And then the Dawson versus Homicide and and Eddie Kingston in a no disqualification match. Homicide and Kingston jumped them on the floor, and then the match began with with falling outside. Homicide began choking Dave Dawson with a cable. Thomas Latimer and Royce Isaacs came out to watch the match. The Dawsons brought chairs inside the wing. Zane Dawson ran into a chair in the corner and took a cutter from Homicide for a two-count. 
The Dawsons came back and suplexed Kingston onto a set of chairs. Zane climbed, climbed to the top, was stopped by Latimer, while Isaacs attacked Kingston with a death belly driver and placed Dave Dawson on top for the victory. Win of the Dawsons at 5 minutes and 50 seconds. W good tag team match. Good tag team match between, between the Dawsons and Homicide and Kingston. I like this no, no disqualification. This is how you do a no disqualification match. Mention then. Yes, I like the weapons. I like the use of weapons. Everything about this I like. And then there was another issue spot for the question mark. Like, what, what is this leading to? How, what is going on? How is this going to play out? And then, M Marty Bell was interviewed while wearing an Allison t-shirt. She wants to prove she is worthy of becoming an MWA champion, even if it means facing K. Interesting. I'm, I'm liking where this is going. So then it's Marty Bell versus a Ashley Box. K came out and told Bell she isn't ready and already beat Box. K is very good at, in her role as a top female on the show. Bell hit a two, two and a half free Amigos. Bell tried for an under, under hook, which was... Which is countered, Bell stopped her and went to the went 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 back to the underhooks and was turned into a jackknife cover by Box for the win. Winner Ashley Box at three minutes and thirty four seconds. Another good match. I like this. I mean Ashley Box and Molly Bell. Congratulations to both women for putting on a very good match. Very classic old school women's wrestling match. I another thing that I like. And then after the match, Thunder Rosa, oh, it's Thunder Rosa went and then offered her hand to Bell, but she, but she refused and walked away. They added a background sound that came off awkward in the live studio setting. Hmm. I'm, like I said, I'm very interested in this um, Thunder Rosa character. I apologize for saying he, I meant to say she. See, but yeah, I'm really interested um, in, in seeing what they do with this Thunder Rosa character. I'm, I'm, I want to see her wrestle in the ring. And then, I think that I, what was good for entertainment purposes, Tony Fox explained that he taught Sh Shawn Michaels how those had, had to, had to speak, speak Connie. Then, then into, into, into his pitch for tire islands and waffles in Kentucky this week, if you buy, buy these gluten-free waffles, you get, you get four tire islands. I really enjoy this Tony Fox character. This guy is just amazing. I, another thing that takes me back to the 1980s and, and 90s. I mean, this is this is um this is old school stuff, and I'm liking this. I mean, I mean, Billy Corgan is doing a phenomenal job with 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 MWA Power. I mean, it's it it it, it gives you that feel good moment. Meant. And then it's Aaron Stevens versus Ricky Stark. Stevens entered the ring wearing the same robe and how he wore in his Damian Sandow days. I like that. And then Corner did a great job of explaining the rap on Stevens and getting the character across as someone that is that is entitled to it while putting over his his athletic ability. Stevens hit the elbow of disdain and shouted, "You're welcome." Stark sc scared him with the threat of another slap. Stevens screamed in fear and was defeated with the O'Connor winner, Ricky Starks, in two minutes and twenty four seconds. I thought this was a good match, but I would have preferred Aaron Stevens. When I don't know why Aaron Stevens um lost in this debut. I don't I didn't I, I, like I said, I it was a good match, but I would have preferred if Aaron Stevens won. But I don't know. I liked what I saw and I, and I'm still and I have very high hopes for e Aaron Stevens. And I like Ricky Starks as well. And then Stevens stayed in the doing yelling no as the audience yelled yes and felt like an organic end end to the segment Stevens went with. Hmm. I I like I said, I'm I'm gonna see see what else they do with Aaron Steven, Stevens and how him how him losing is gonna affect him. Cause I know something good is gonna come out of it. And then it's the main event: Nick Aldis, Coca Ban, and Mr. Anderson versus James Storm, Thomas Latimer, and Royce Isaacs. Aldis and Latimer win when they start with 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 Joe Gowdy hit hinting at 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 the victory as Magnus and Bram and TNA. I like that. See, this is see, see. I would enjoy um Joe Gowdy and um Jim Cornette as, as um as an announced team as a, co a commentary duo. I like I like the old, 
style, old school style of, of commentary, and how they uh, uh, how they match other companies. They said where the Westerns in the company have been. That's what I like about commentary. And then so so then uh, Cabana hit I, I bionic elbows on both Isaacs and Badaba simultaneously. Storm um stopped Cabana and they got the advantage of him in the corner. Cabana got his feet up at, as Isaacs came off. The turnbuckle and made a tag to Anderson. Anderson hit Vladimir with the mic check, but Isaacs ran and everyone took turns hitting their moves. Moves, Cabana was tagged in and Storm missed the last call super kick and nailed Isaacs. Aldis dropped Vladimir and Cabana used the, the Superman pin for the win. Winners Nick Aldis, Cole Cabana, and Mr. Anderson had six minutes and, and 56 seconds. The victory sets up Cabana challenging James Stump for the national title. Very good main event. I really, really enjoyed this main event. I liked how um, our teams were hitting their moves on each other in the six-man tag match. You see, this is how you do a six-man tag match. Very, very, very good wrestling. I would rate this episode another 10 out of 10. Five stars, two thumbs up, and a triple plus. I'm really enjoying um, MWA Power, and I'm looking forward to, to MWA Power episode five, which I will review on this channel. No, no next Tuesday. Anyway, you... Comment down below in the comment section. Tell me what you thought about NWA Power episode episode four four and four D the cows again and what and what you like about it. What are you looking for in the next in the next episode? Anyway, you stay classy, live long and prosper, and peace out. And I must have bid you adieu. Good night and goodbye and bang. And the words of Captain Jack, bang bang. Good night everybody.